Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick mod to this uh, Spectrum Plus 2. Uh, try and filter out what I think, uh, well, what I know um, is the audio subcarrier interfering with the video signal. Um, I'll put some links, um, including a link direct to the video um, that I, this is based on the fix. fix. Um, and it's, I've mentioned it before, Jules Perculum. Uh, you've got to check out his channel if you're interested in uh, Spectrum stuff and anything to do with electronics. So you can see the ghost in there, um, pretty noticeable on the right hand side of that box. I'm hoping that that tidies that up a little, this, this fix will tidy that up a little bit. Um, but yeah, it involves um, adding a filter circuit there, just a basic inductor and capacitor. So uh, I'll just show you those now. Hang on. Here we go, so it should be pretty simple to do this. I've got some 68 peak farad capacitors there. Um, I need some 22s, which I think I've got in here somewhere. Uh, 22 peak forward capacitors there. Um, so I think those in parallel um, will, what's that going to add up to? 90. Um, I think the ideal value there that he's calculated using the formula on this video was 87 peak forward. Um, but 90 is about as near as you can get with you know caps uh, like that in parallel. Um, and you need um, an inductor. So I've just got some of these fairly small um, 15 micro Henry inductors are gone with the exact same values he's used on his video um, so just whip the lid off now and I'll show you what's involved right so there's the video encoder this TEA 2000 chip um, and I think uh, I can't quite remember I think it's from top right pin there which is probably ground um, down so I think number pin number two um, can't quite work out from his video I'll have to rewatch that just to make sure I'll have a look at it because he does show the schematics so I'll just have a look at what pin uh, that, pin, that what pin number that is I think is it 14 how many pins is this now let's, let's have a look uh, 4 8 10 it looks like is it 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 no it's 18 18 pins so I'm guessing it must be pin 17 um, to pin 9 um, so let's have a look Right, it's actually pin 8 to ground, so uh, through the filter, so let's just have a quick look, um, I'm not sure I'll get a ground on here, might be able to get one off the top of this uh, modulator there, let's, let's try that, so I'm guessing one of these, yeah, so the bottom left hand, not the, quite the left, bottom left hand pin, what's that going to be, uh, 9, 18, not pin 18, I think pin 17 is the ground, and then it's um, not the top right hand pin, it's the one before it is the pin, the right pin, pin eight, I think. Let's just check that. One, two, three. Um, eight. Yeah, pin eight. So, um, so I've just um, put two caps in parallel. I'll, you know, trim these legs down um, once I've got it on top of the chip correctly. Um, it could be a bit better aligned, though. It doesn't really matter. The point is that as long as they're in parallel and soldered together, that's fine. Um, the capacitance values will add up. So we've got, let's say, 22 and a 68, so that'll give us 90. Uh, there we done. Not majorly clean. Um, not too bad there. Let's see if we can see how close and get before it blurs. It's about as good as it's going to get, I think. So, yeah, not the top right hand pin, the one below it on this side. Um, and on the other side, the same thing, not quite the bottom pin, but the one next to it, which is the ground, you can test that bottom left hand pin, so it's like I think pin 8 to pin 13, is it 13? No it's not, it's 9, if it's 9 it's 18, it must be 17, yeah so pin 8 to pin 17, uh, yeah, two caps in parallel, straight through, you read the 15 micro Henry inductor there and uh, that should be it, so uh, I'm just going to give this a reassemble um, and we'll give it a try. So hopefully you can see there, we've just got a little bit of a, um, a ghost sort of effect there on that colour, the blue colour bar just leaking over. But all of the greeny sort of edge that was there with the black and everything, that's just totally cleaned up. So that is a lot better, an awful lot better. One of the things you'll notice here as well, um, you know, from my other videos, I re-enabled the motor in this and I've been using the tape deck. So it needs a new belt um, because it starts struggling halfway through the load. You know, you can tell it starts slowing down. Um, so I will do a separate video on replacement of the belt on this. 
Um, you can heat the belts up and stuff like in boiling water or something that gives a bit of life back to them but it's um, you know it's not a long term fix so I don't see any point in doing that. Um, so I'll just give this game a go, I'll show you once it's loaded. So there you go, loaded. Um, no real signs of the ghost and that was there before, it's considerably bad. Yeah. Really pleased with that. Check out Jules' website. Uh, I keep calling him Jules, you know, it's like I say his channel name is Jules Perculum. Um, check out his website, it's got some great videos there. Hopefully he'll do some more um, on Spectrum stuff. Um, but yeah, I can't thank the guy enough really for, you know, in all the years that these systems have been knocking around, no one's actually tried, um, you know, producing a filter circuit for that to improve that ghosting effect. And yeah, you know, uh, out off to him kind of thing, he's uh, done a great job of it. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.